Now, I did want to um, share something really quick with you. I've seen the hexagon shapes, hexagon stamps. You know, they're everywhere. Love them. This is what I did, and it takes a little practice to do this. These chipboard shapes I just got from a local scrapbook store, and these are my road chipboard shapes. And you can actually punch them out. They come apart. And they come in a couple different sizes. So cute. So anyway, there are no stamps out, right? I mean, I, I don't have the Studio Calico membership, so there's no stamps out. What did I do? Let's be crafty. I made my own. Okay, first I tried to make my own just with like a template, and it was really hard. So the reason why I liked using this chipboard is that what you would do is you would lie it down. And this is that rubbery, I don't know what you call it. You you find it, find it it's not, you make your own stamps and you can carve it out and it comes with like this little tool. This little tool that you use, Speedball, that's what it, well Speedball makes it I guess. And it, it's like this huge pack and you can cut off what you want. And then, what you would do, like it comes like a huge block. So like for this one, I carved a wonky pattern. It was really cool and fun and I, usually I will use it. Um, when I'm doing like journaling. So anyway, what I did was I placed it on, I used the cutting, I used the um, the straight one because usually you can use like a carved one. And actually I was thinking if you had one of those like, you know how you have like a slicing blade, I don't know if you, like if you use for clay modeling, then maybe you might be able to get the edges even straighter. But anyway, after playing with it quite a bit and trying to get it as best that I could, then I stamped it and this is how it came out. And I was like, say what? I'm so excited. So that's my own little tip for trying to make your own little hexagon shape. Um, you know, until somebody comes out with a slew of them, which I'm sure they're going to come out with. So chipboard nice and thick and your little speed ball map cut it out use this as your template and you've got your homemade stamp and there you go love that so that's a little tip